What's up everybody? So what you're looking at here is the wiring diagram, the factory wiring diagram for the smart drive motors or the hyperdrive motors. This particular one is showing a 42 leg. Uh, it says 42 pole, but that's actually not correct. The number of poles on this particular motor or stator is uh, 14 because you have three phases the yellow the blue and the white three phases if you count all the yellows there are 14 so it's actually a 14 pole motor now the one i have is it has 36 legs one for each degree of rotation that's the best one to use um and it's actually a 12 pole motor now these motors can be driven with uh, high voltage, high frequency, low currents, or they can be driven with... If you look at this stator, it is wired like a transmitter. It's, uh, it's open circuit. See the X, Y, Z? Those are the points where you connect and, you know, put your power in. And the other, the other connections, they're all tied together. That is a transmitter. So, the true hyperdrive needs to be run on communications it's actually not a hyperdrive it is hypersonic and now I said that way before Gerard ever did I have a video on my channel proof uh, is hypersonic drive proof of running a motor on sound it's sonic it's hypersonic it's communications now that's the trick is getting a communications company to build a transmitter that will operate this thing now you don't have to go that route if you don't want to like I said you can run these motors on uh, high voltage high frequency low current and I will show you that right here let's just open this up and let's open this up and let's go over here if you go to Texas Instruments they have a controller that works with the software InstaSpin Motor Control Solutions and if you look right here under the description high voltage motor control you can see uh, directly under that active TMD SHVM TRIN SPIN that is the um, that's the model number of the controller that you'll need to look up it is a high voltage motor control kit with InstaSpin FOC and InstaSpin motion control enabled um, uh, piccolo microcontrol unit it's a high frequency high voltage check it out um, blah 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 let's see here high voltage motor control kit provides great reference platforms to learn and experiment with digital control of high voltage motors utilizing the revolutionary instant uh, insta spin foc and insta spin motion uh, motor control technologies included on texas instruments c2000 it's got a 32-bit uh, microcontroller family and 
they the motor system developers the the program quickly identifies automatically tunes and fully control a three-phase motor providing an instantly stable and functional motor control system this kit is a superb all-around motor inverter design tool showcasing sensorless and encoder based control of the most common types of high voltage three-phase motors including ac induction bldc and permanent magnet synchronous motors now i there's the features you can uh, check them out you know you only need a maximum of 250 volt ac input um and it outputs the 350 volts um, divided by three legs it's a little under uh, it's a little over 100 volts per leg and that's plenty to run the the 12 pole 12 inch hyperdrive all the way up uh, to uh, significant speeds um, it's seven hundred dollars it includes the program um, and the controller that you need to hook this thing up and get it running and it'll work for any three-phase motor not just not just the 12 inch but any size it this is what gerard wanted over a year ago this is a master controller for any size brushless motor so you want to run something smaller great this will give you the platform to do it and what's interesting about it is you don't have to use their own signal you can use this program and and driver coupled with your own driver you can push communications through it if you can get a transmitter a three-phase transmitter then you could potentially couple it with this and use the signal that the insta spin gives you when it spins up the motor because the motor produces the right signal to use and they take that signal and then they amplify it and feed it back into it and that's their way of running it but they also have the option to where you can use your own customized way of driving it so you could use a transmitter now Gerard does not agree with that but I believe that that is possible and as soon as I get the money I'm gonna order this thing myself and do some tests with it and see if it will produce so you know another thing is this thing this motor control there's a picture of it. This motor controller, they're calling it a power warp, and uh, similar to the hyperdrive. And the the program is fully fully adjustable. You can adjust how much current you feed into it, how much voltage you feed into it, um, everything. The RPMs, the frequency, which is determined by the frequency. Um, you know everything you can control everything within the program you can adjust all the parameters and you um, yeah so as far as what's on the market today this is the closest thing that you're gonna get to output the most amount of power for the least amount of for the least amount of power you know uh, the most amount of torque and rpms for the least amount of power um yeah so uh i hope that answers your questions about the hyperdrive because it's not a hyperdrive it's a hypersonic drive and i said that over a year ago peace